Actually, no, January was when I found out that my roof was leaking. Have a look and give me a quote and stuff. One man came and he said, oh, it's 8,000 pounds, blah, blah, blah. He's gonna have to redo the whole roof. I said, be for real, uncle, be for real. It's only this corner that's leaking. You are doing the most. And by the time I clocked that this person had hit me, they literally went around me and drove off. So I couldn't even find the person that hit me. All the police and like, but they just couldn't even help me. God really put me on his list for his strongest soldiers. And I am not. Please, please, God, please. <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a sit down get ready with me chit chat kind of video i'm just going to be talking to you guys about how my year has been and how it's been going and all the things that's been happening from the start of the year to now and how i've been feeling it's just been a lot okay this year i started off being really really positive and then like slowly like things just started happening 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 so many different things have just been happening but that's just the way life is like things happen happen and it is what it is um and also guys i'm really sorry if the light keeps going in and out it's because i'm filming with natural light so it's like the sun is like here there here there everywhere but yeah anyways guys i'm gonna get straight into it you guys have been seeing me in vlogs going now going here there everywhere but i haven't actually been at my house you guys already know from the vlogs like your girl was really going through it, but I'm feeling a lot better now. Um, guys, I'm not gonna lie, before I started recording, I broke a nail and it's a Sunday. And my nail lady, they don't open on Sundays, so I'm really sorry if you guys clock the broken nail. Um, but yeah, I am gonna be doing a get ready with me today. I'm gonna be doing my makeup, so I'm gonna be doing my updated winter base for you guys so that you guys can see the products i've been using and my current routine basically um i feel like my routine changes like in, in the summer i use a lot more powders in the winter i use more cream products and like less powder it's so weird doing like a sit down video i'm gonna be doing my hair first this is what my hair looks like currently yeah, so i need to wash my hair i've just put my hair back so the hair i'm gonna be trying today is from subella hair i've never tried hair from them before so i'm quite excited to see what the quality will be like and what the density is gonna be like and just you know what the lace is like as well yeah the sun keeps going in and out i'm so sorry this is the first time i'm actually opening the packaging oh this is oh i didn't i didn't realize that i ordered jerry curl but actually i needed jerry curl hair so maybe that's why i ordered it oh this is 28 inches it's jerry curls and it's a 13 by 4 lace front it's really long this is so cute oh i love i love the fact that it doesn't look frizzy like it does not look frizzy at all so hopefully when I'm out and about, it won't get too frizzy. This is what inside of the lace looks like. The lace seems quite strong, which is good. I like a strong lace and it's already pre-plucked as well. I love how they've already kind of put out the baby hairs there for you so you don't have to do it yourself. I'm gonna start by cutting the lace on the bottom part of the wig right there. I'm so sorry, I forgot to show you the rest of like the goodies in the bag. I just got too excited um, about the wig. So in the bag, we have some, some wig cap, and some lashes, some elastic band, obviously to lay down the lace. I'll also be using one of the wig caps. There's two there. Um, this wig cap is quite light. So what I'll do is I will color it like I always do. So nothing new there. The wig cap on. The only time I actually keep my wig on my head is if I'm going out the next day and I know that I need to like get ready very quickly and I might be in a rush, blah, blah, blah. That's the only time that I would actually keep my wig on my head. Other than that, I always take off my wig, even if I'm with a boy. <laughs> like, even if I'm with a guy, like my wig is coming off, I'm sorry. Like, I feel like men know that women wear wigs these days anyway. Like, that 28 inch wig is not my hair. You know this, let's be for real. Yeah, that's that done. There's quite a lot of hair in this, so 
definitely I can say that the density is really good the, oh my gosh guys I'm so impressed by this um, the elastic band has got like a strap there so you can make it tighter or loose if you want I think that's so impressive because sometimes it's like band isn't actually the same fit on your head or like it's too loose and you have to like cut it and adjust it yourself that's just so long so yeah I'm really impressed by this that's really really good Oh, cute. Yeah, this is stunning, honey. Stunning, darling. As I was saying, I just feel like God really put me on the strongest, the strong warriors list this year. And it's like, babe, we spoke about this. Like, why are you doing this to me? Please. Okay, so January, I feel like January was okay. I feel like it was so long ago. I can't even remember, but actually no january was when i found out that my roof was leaking and i was really really annoyed because i did carry out a survey before i bought the property but i feel like sometimes you just never know and also i think between november and december there was um really bad wind i'm just cutting um the lace right now yeah so in december november december times because i remember it was around when i started my new job there was like really really bad wind and like the weather was really bad and i remember being scared and like obviously because i lived alone i remember feeling like, oh my god like you know the weather is quite bad blah, blah blah i live alone this is like scary the weather was really bad but i didn't think much of it so then around january time i realized every time that it rained i realized that there was a leak coming through like and i was so like confused i was thinking why is there a leak like what is going on i had a few people like come and have a look and give me a quote and stuff one man came and he said oh it's eight thousand pounds blah 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 he's gonna have to redo the whole roof i said be for real uncle be for real it's only this corner that's leaking. You're doing the most. You're doing the most. I was just like, you're just doing the absolute most. Like, stop it. No, it's not going to be £8,000. And then I had another guy come and he was like, yeah, be about 300, 300 quid. I was like, okay, that seems quite low. Is he going to do a good job? Then somebody else came and was like, oh, it's going to be about two grand. Obviously, I had my home insurance look at it as well. Um, they sent somebody as well. And then after they were like, oh, it's not actually something that we would fix. It's not, you know, something that insurance would do, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, cool. Then the last guy that I got, he apparently was like a local, like a local roofer in this area and um he had really good reviews so i was like okay i'm gonna go with him and i think he charged me like 750 or something like that to fix the roof which wasn't too bad and i thought you know what it's not too bad if he's gonna do it he'll probably do a good job he's got really good reviews blah 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 so yeah i set a date with him and the only problem was that he was like i need to fix your roof when it's not raining and when the weather is good because obviously if we have bad weather then he won't be able to fix the roof so i had to wait till around spring time was it around spring before i could actually fix the roof so every time it rained i was just like panicking like oh my god oh you know like it's raining my roof's gonna cave in blah 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 i was just so scared um so yeah so that was what happened in january um but yeah guys um i've just cut the lace i've cut the lace a little bit straight today i don't know i usually don't do this i love a curly wig like i just i just feel like it really suits my face so well oh my forehead looks so big why does it look so big oh my goodness <laughs> okay let me stick the wig on now i am using the got to be glued glue i guess spray Place the lace i'm not a hairstylist or anything but also i find that bonding glue can really rip out your edges or is it just me i find it a little bit more like scary to use the reason why i use one of these combs to lay it down is because if you use your fingers your fingers are going to get sticky and then the edges and like the hair is going to get like stuck together and it's going to look a mess you don't want that that is basically why so that's that done um it's looking a little bit whoosh at the moment i think i might do a side part for this so let's see if i can pull it off i'm just adding some water to the hair um i'm gonna try and like style it a little bit before i start doing my makeup 
So I've been running my hands through the hair and it's been like literally just minimal shedding. I don't know if you guys can see that, um, but it's literally just a little bit of hair that's come off. And I'm also gonna add some mousse um, to the hair. This mousse is by Cream of Nature so that the curls stay defined. If you have um, curly hair like this, and if you feel like it always goes frizzy after a while, the best thing to do is to add mousse and gel. Just any type of like random cheap gel, it should do the job. It should give it that wet look the whole day um, because that's usually what I do. Um, so now I'm just gonna define my part in a little bit more. Yeah, so guys, let me tell you what happened in Feb. <laughs> okay, so in February, um, February was going really well like it was great February was going really well until I had a accident I had an accident on like I think it was like the 22nd or 23rd you know what yeah no one talks about the psychological effects of having a car accident like I literally was flabbergasted like I just I think I was in shock for about maybe three weeks straight I just didn't know what to do with myself. I didn't know how to feel. My body felt really weird. It was a full on accident. The person hit me from the back like in full speed. Um, I was at a traffic light and I think they just couldn't, I just think, I think they just didn't clock that it was a red light. Like it's a red light, I'm at a traffic light, I'm literally stationary and they full force hit me from the back and my head literally went into my steering and then went back like this. So I hit my head on both sides. And by the time I clocked that this person had hit me, they literally went around me and drove off. So I couldn't even find the person that hit me. All the police and like, but they just couldn't even help me. Like they were useless, they couldn't help me. And I just felt so alone and really sad. Um, I had to, it was like at, I don't know, 11.30 p.m. Um, so it was quite late, I didn't get into like, and then what I tried to do was drive around to try and see if I could find that driver because his car was really, really messed up. Um, but I couldn't find, I couldn't find him. And I know it's a him because I looked in the car as it was driving around me. So yes, yeah, so that's what happened in Feb. And that I didn't realize how much the accident affected me until like June, July, because I was getting constant headaches. Um, I didn't report it to my insurance company because I was like, what are they gonna do? Like, how are they gonna help me? It's just gonna insurance. It might make my premium go up. I can't be bothered. Like, it's just another thing to deal with that I didn't wanna deal with, you know? I'm going to color my lace. You guys can see the difference already. I'm just using the same foundation brush that I used earlier and this is what it looks like you guys can see that it's honestly the lace is really really good it's very thin but also quite strong so it's stuck on really really nicely and it looks very seamless i'm gonna add baby hairs once i've finished my makeup i find it easier that way because if i put it on now the makeup is gonna go all over the hair and then the baby hairs will be a little bit brown because i put foundation on it it's just long i'm gonna be using the face base by bobby brown i I really like this product it feels like skincare i feel like i actually use this more in the winter because it just feels really nice on the skin and it keeps my skin like hydrated under the makeup that's basically what happened in feb but feb had a lasting effect into like march march i was just like all over the place and like work was really busy and i just felt really like overwhelmed i wish i took time out after my accident but i didn't because i didn't realize how much it was like affecting I didn't realize how much it was affecting me basically. So I am also using the Bobbi Brown foundation. I really like this foundation because it just blends in seamlessly into my skin and it feels, it doesn't feel light as well. It's buildable coverage, I believe. This foundation has got SPF 30 in it and it just feels so nice on the skin. The sun keeps going in and out. So sometimes it looks really red and sometimes it looks fine, but it's not as red as it looks on camera, I promise you guys. So yeah, March was a little bit hard as well, I, I guess, because obviously I'm recovering from like headaches, migraines all the time. Like it was just a lot in March. Um, but I was really trying really hard to like stay positive and like just, you know, hope for the best basically. So March was there and then I feel, I feel like the build up to my birthday in April really um, set me off. <laughs> 
um just knowing that i had a year left of my 20s was like oh my god oh my god i'm getting older like i was just like freaking out and panicking for no reason honestly it was it was insane like ugh. Like the way I felt was ridiculous because I had no reason to feel like that. Like, yes, you're getting older, but it's not that deep. Like, it is what it is. Yeah, I felt really like, oh my God, I'm getting old, oh my God, oh. <laughs> um, I think I mentioned it in the vlog as well, like in the vlog that I did just before my birthday. As soon as I turned 29, like I was fine. I was like, oh, it's not even that deep. <laughs> may oh my gosh may may was really hard because hmrc was like you owe us some funds girl we're gonna take 6k from you right now you owe us money and i was just like no i don't and they were like yes you do girl you owe us money and i was just like wow okay take my money then like i was just like the government is even taking money from me even more like seriously i was not happy about that i was not a happy bunny at all and then I feel like in, and then a little bit of May was like, my management were like, oh, you know, this, that, and the third, we just feel like you need to create more content like this and blah, blah. And I was just like, the sort of content you people are asking me for is really not aligning with my brand. Like, I know I do a bit of lifestyle, but I'm more beauty and hair care and a little bit of fashion. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't want to do random collaborations, like I don't want to start changing the way I am. Just so that I can make money, you know? Money is good, but it's like, I also don't want to like, do things that I usually wouldn't do because first of all, my my followers will not engage and that's going to be bad for me because, because then my engagement is bad. And two, I don't have time to be recording just anyhow content like i want to record content that's authentic to me it's content that i love that i like that i resonate with so i left my management basically that's what i'm trying to say so i was just like okay i'm gonna have to do this influencing thing on my own i'm gonna have to like you know um start doing all this like reaching out to brands and stuff like i'm gonna actually have to do this by myself like oh the stress that i was feeling was just like I was thinking to myself, I already have like, obviously my new job is quite demanding and I was just thinking to myself, how am I gonna like be able to do all of that? Do my influencing like emails and outreach and contracts and um, invoicing and stuff like that on my own, like chasing for invoices and blah, blah, blah. And I was just thinking to myself like, okay, I think I've got to the point where it's like, I might have to just leave influencing a little bit and just kind of show up when i can but then it was just weird because as soon as i left my management i had like brands like reaching out to me to like collab and stuff and like it was more things that aligned with my brand like um primark beauty juvia's place like i've just been able to do more like beauty and hair products videos which is like what i really want to do because that's my interest if that makes sense so yeah that's been like to my surprise a little bit better than i thought it was gonna be so yeah i have been doing that a bit i've been doing more of the things that i want to do if that makes sense so that's been the good thing about leaving i guess i like my i still follow my manager like i still really like her she was really lovely she really helped me out when i needed it so i can't fault my manager at all um so we have done concealer concealer so what i'm gonna do now um do some contouring i really like this matchstick like it literally just blends in like a dream like ugh, gorgeous from powder um this powder is very very like light as well which is why i really like it for setting my face especially in the winter it's just like it just sets on the face like a dream basically I'm just using this pressed powder from Primark. I really like this powder. I got it when I was doing my collab with them and I actually really, really like it. Um, it's really good and it, it's very lightweight. It's really good and it just blends in really, really well and just kind of brings everything together. So that's just the powder that I'm using. Literally setting powder and this all over the face powder. 
So I've gone ahead and filled my brows in with this um, brow gel from Revolution. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, I did add a little bit of mascara because it was not dark enough for me. So I added a tiny bit of mascara to that brow gel. Um, the blusher that I use is um, the Max Raisin Blush. I'm just spraying my face with the um, Too Faced 3-in-1 Hangover Setting Spray. Yeah, my makeup is pretty much done. I just need to sort out the baby hairs. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit. So I always use these little combs for the baby hairs because they just work better, I find. Um, I'm gonna be using the Eco Styling Gel to just sort that out. That was so easy. Why is that so easy? I don't really like doing too much baby hair if I'm being honest. It's like, I feel like if you stuck your wig down properly, you shouldn't really need to do that much baby hair because I find that doing too much just, I don't know, it just makes it look a bit higgy hagga sometimes. But I know like the American girls, they love a baby hair. Oh my gosh. That's like their thing, isn't it? Done. That was so easy. But yeah, I'm done guys let me just do my lips i'm going to be lining with this fenty beauty lipstick it's a brown lip gloss oh i don't even know if that's going to line my lip properly it's not as dark as i wanted it to be i'm using this lip gloss by elf just to add some genus aqua to the lips. So guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I feel like I didn't really finish talking to you guys and telling you guys what's just been happening. I've just, basically I've just had so much happening this year and I've just been like all over the place. I haven't really had a moment of like, maybe three weeks straight of like me just enjoying my time in my house, chilling. Like I've just been up and down, up and down, up and down. But now I'm just trying to create some stability for myself. So, so I'm back in my own house and just, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, stay a little bit more grounded, pray a lot more and just kind of connect with my inner self a bit more. So, and it's been really, really good. I've been feeling a lot better. I've been starting my day right by praying and really, really going in with my worship. Like, girl. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Guys, don't forget to check out everything about this hair down below. This hair is from Sabella Hair, like I said before at the start of the video. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I hope I see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.